All right, guys, we just loaded back in to Valentine. Are we in Valentine? Yeah, we're still in Valentine. In the last episode, we got into a bar fight and we met Javier outside who told us about Sean Maguire was locked up in the penitentiary uh, in Blackwater. But we can't go back to Blackwater, so we're going to have to wait and see what we can do about that. But I do want to get Sean Maguire. I know Sean Maguire from online, so it'd be really interesting to find him and see him again. Um, right, so I guess we're going to head back to camp and see what's going down there and talk to Kieran. He was the O'Driscoll that we tied up to the tree. Hello. Howdy, mister. Hey, mister. So, yeah, we're going to go and do that. Long time, boy. Um, ooh. This way. Yeah. Wait! Who's there? I'm coming in. Look what the cat dragged in. Okay, we're back at camp. Let's go and see what this old Driscoll has yep. to say. Put in a good word, would you? Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld here. <coughs> yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. Your only boy. <laughs> just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Ow. Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Ooh. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious. I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. <laughs> I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Holy shit, look at the size of his horse. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an O'Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. 
If I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Williamson, Williamson. What, Morgan? Just to say, well, even you can't screw up killing O'Driscoll's. Funny. And I guess you're good here. Unless some soft-handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. What are you talking about? Fighting that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise do you think beating a man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we supposed to be laying low. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, I'll take it. After all. You are an authority on not being clever. <clears throat> the captive gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? I was fighting Comb when you was pretending to fight Indians. Don't call my record into question. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills, head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this gang. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them? You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Combs a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. I'm gonna get my rifle for this as well. Uh, yeah. You settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Uh, I'll leave the bow on the horse. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said... Yeah, I've got them. And easy. Hold! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you. Oh, come on, it'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And call him O'Driscoll? Uh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be 
passed out booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Uh, I'll take him. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. Let's check out these knives. Oh shit! Shit! Guns in the camp! Look out! Looks like we're fighting. Shit, shit, shit. I don't miss that. Shit, you didn't go down? Oh, thanks, John. What the fuck? Running. That's it. They're turning dead. Leave them. They've Cone's gone. Still here. Hey. You said Cone can't be down. Damn, that was close. You look out here. <coughs> okay, uh, where's the front door? Uh, around here. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on, Cone. Kieran. Oh, thank you. Kieran <laughs> saved our lives. What the hell? Come, Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come, Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't <laughs> have saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Kieran ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. So Kieran wants to stay with us, huh? Okay. That's cool. Um, yeah, let's do some looting. I need to make some money. Got ten cents. Uh, Okay, gin, ginseng. 
Ah, oh, ammunition. What was that noise? Sounded like a bottle or something rolling on the ground. Right, okay, what else? Uh, there's a weapon over here, what's this? Where's this cash in the chimney he said, didn't it? Uh, there we go. At least you got something tucked away. Six hundred dollars, nice. Gang Yosha. Um, I don't think there's anything else around here. Cool, let's get out of here. Okay, so we need to head back to camp. Okay, we made it back to camp. And we're gonna go and see what Jose wants. Hey, Arthur! Jose! Jose? You wanna go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouthed bastard tried to rob me and was out <coughs> riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there, we'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the Oop. stables always have the best ones. Oh, I guess you're right. Okay, we're going to check the saddle off. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. <laughs> okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big fella. Wow, this All is right, a big horse. Head into town. Jesus. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah. Uh, remember now just about <laughs> that turned into a long day yes remember Mac went crazy threatened to kill the whole town <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys Jenny too she had some spot that girl it must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, 
Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. Have a couple of leads I'm looking into. That's Don't good. let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's alright. I was going to say, I forgot about them bonds. It was a good job he asked. I wonder when I get paid for that because I need cash. $105.75. Stables are just up ahead. Let's see what I can get for that. All right, go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable them here for you. Here, take a look. Um, I'm going to sell this. Oh, $65. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell that one. Um, what's this one? Um, that's fifteen dollars. It looks a little bit small though, but I like the color. Um, that one's uh, that's a bit slow as well. Do you know what? I'm gonna get this one because I've got no money at the minute. Um, horse name. Yep, we're gonna stick with our Genevieve. And fifteen dollars. That's not too bad for a horse. Mm. I'm gonna go with that one. I like that tail. Same colour. Okay, um equipment. Stoops. Okay. No, that's fine. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right, let's get going. we got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So. Let me give my horse a brush. What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. 
But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Oh, we're not happy about John. So he left the gang for a year. And he's, well, he's, he's recently only just come back. Okay, I can understand why Arthur would be kind of pissed off. Why did he leave, though? Okay. Hmm. I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Ask about Sean, ask about Micah. Uh, let's ask about Sean first. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Uh, where's my ball? Where's my ball? Um. Sure. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Cut it, cut away. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a twenty-two caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yeah. Damn. Obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Oh, this is so hard. Uh, okay, there we go. Now, where did those rabbits go? There's one. It's looking right at me. Go. <laughs> uh, got it. I guess we've got to skin this, huh? It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get us set up. Um. Oh. Uh, just thought camp. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. 
Yeah, let's go to bed. Um, sleep seven hours. You something. better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> you ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Um, leave. Oh. Pack up, Arthur. And let's be. <clears throat> Okay, let's go. That's my horse. There we go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Well, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Oh shit, oh shit. Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him? That was easy. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way? This way. I can hear it. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else. Something else on the ground. <laughs> There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. I can see the paw marks in the ground. Without even tracking. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. 
A little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? <sighs> Let's place the bait. Arthur? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Right here. Yeah, that's it. I wish I brought my shotgun with me. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm nervous. Let's just take a look at that bait. Oh. Sure. Here we go. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. What do you had here? Got your knife? I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, easy. That is one ugly. Fire! Oh shit! Shit! He's still alive. Who's there? Arthur! Are you laughing or something? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. <sighs> nothing at all. Thank you! I think. <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar. Gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. Hmm. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, I'm coming with you. Staying out here with this thousand pound grizzler. I'm coming with you. Let's get going then. Hosea. I'm starting to like him. He's like a father. Father of the group, isn't he? Or grandfather. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it's a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. There we go, that'll do for, do for a while. What on earth is uncle talking about? Really? I can't. Uncle? What are you mumbling about? Why are we fighting the Philippines, huh? I don't know, why are you so worked up about it? He's reading the paper and... <laughs> Oh god, that was so cool. It's like Arthur asks the questions that 
I'm actually asking, you know? It's like, I'm thinking, what's he mumbling about? And then you walk over and then... The people you haven't fed. Me? When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. Oh, give him the rest, please. Yeah, we gotta go hunting and get some food for the gang. Um, where's Dutch? Would you talk to Dutch? See what the next move is. <laughs> Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Girl. Oh, great, my horse is just having a shit. Hi, right, come on, Lenny. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side, Arthur. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. <laughs> what kind of fight? No, nothing big. We kept it clean. We're all good. It's a bit of an understatement. So, oh, here we are. Good work. Come on, Lenny. Hello. How did you get the music? Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. 
Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, please. You'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot Mikey... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. Oh, there's Dullert! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Ciao, I'm all threatened. Let's threaten him. Hey, buddy, you don't shut up. I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. <laughs> oh my god. Is that clear? Get out of here. Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. <laughs> you don't mess with Arthur. Oh. Mm. Oh my god, we're really doing it. Well. We're making a night of it. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Oh my god, we've lost Lenny already. This is bringing back memories back in the day, getting drunk in the nightclub. Turn around and my friend will be gone and you won't be able to find him for the rest of the night. Uh, Lenny? Lenny? Lenny, where are you? You up here? Lenny! Stranger? Yeah. Found my friend. You know where we went? I don't know. Sorry. Hey, Lenny! Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Best to ask someone else about that. Oh, there he is. What? He's balanced. How you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Man, why didn't you never met me? Oh. Thing, you see, it... Oh my god, this is so much like being drunk. Hey. What? what the? Oh my god, he's on the bar. <laughs> I better get down there. The hell are you doing, Lenny? Shut your mouth, mister. What? What? Oh my god. I thought we was going to get into a fight. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I want to look down and see, but I'm not looking down. Uh, are we done yet? No, we're still going. Alright. Okay, we're done. We're done. We need to get back inside. There's too much fun going on in here. Lenny, where are you hiding now? What? Le oh my god, everybody looks like Lenny. Lenny! We're looking all over for you, Lenny. Lenny? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, right, okay. So the faces look like Lenny, but I know what Lenny's wearing. He's got um, a blue coat. That's not Lenny. Uh, Lenny! What is Master! it? That's not Lenny, is it? Lenny, my boy. How many have you had? No, that's not Lenny. That's definitely not. Oh, what the fuck? No, no. <laughs> get out, get out. I really hope that wasn't Lenny anyway. 
Um, that's not Lenny. No. Oh my God, what is he? Can we go in? No. Come on, where's Lenny? Um, did I try this door? I'm scared to try it. I think I did. Let's go and search downstairs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not Lenny. Come on, Lenny, where are you? Trolling me now. Where's Lenny? Oh, Lenny! Yeah, that's Lenny. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you're, you're a good friend to me, Arthur. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't drown. <laughs> we can't drown him. Can we? Oh shit. I can't I kinda of deserve that. Oh my god, the best night ever. Oh, here we go. They're lawmen or something. Shit! What? Oh my god, he's drunk. I've seen enough. I can't break free. Ooh. You alive? Arthur. Did we make it? You alive, Arthur? Uh, I wanna die. Where are we? What do we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. <sighs> yeah. You pair degenerates. <sighs> There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. Uh, oh, yeah, I know how they feel. So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Oh, oh. 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 oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've had mornings like that. And let's see what we've got to eat. Um, Can peaches. Can we eat that? No, we have to stand up while we eat. Okay, I think you can have to get up, mate. Come on, get up. Right, now you can eat. Okay, cool. Yavir Esquela. Uh, there's Micah Bell. Micah Bell. So we've got two gang members. They're locked up at the minute. That's Mike Bell. 
and Sean Maguire. Can't see Sean Maguire yet, so I guess it's Micah. Hotel. Oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. You got I, a problem? I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Yeah, I've just come for a bath, man. Just a bath. Purchased a bath. Where do we get to the bath? Is it down here? Yeah, down here on the left. What is that noise? <sighs> yeah, we need a bath. We're looking dirty. <laughs> that was cool. Right. Let's go get Mike Bell. Let's go and get some ammunition. Greetings. So, what are you aiming for today? It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Oh, express. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. High velocity as well. That's sweet. All right, let's go and see what kind oh, wait. of. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfield? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Yeah, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. I'm done. Thanks. Morning, Mister. All right, Michael Bell is pretty far away, so let's get going. Okay, it looks like we're here in the town of Strawberry. We're gonna try and spring Micah. He's held up in jail somewhere. Oh, right ahead of me, jail. My money is Micah's in there somewhere. How are we gonna get him out though? Um, Sir, I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. It's called O'Driscoll. Huh. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mick. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Well, either one of them sound like Micah. Ugh, fucking rain. Let me out of here, you maggots! What? Micah? He's down there. Cat, you think these bars can hold me? Well, you they, hear me? They've held you so far, Micah. Oh, there he Arthur, is. Arthur. Micah, you fucking idiot. What are you doing in here? Arthur, hello, is that you? friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? Hmm. I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now... I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Mm -hmm. You gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's yeah, your first yeah. mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Why? You got any dynamite? Dynamite? 
Fucking, are you crazy? Dynamite? I mean, the, the sheriff's office is right above. No, 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 no. Um, no, I don't. I don't have dynamite. What else can we do? Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. What this big contraption? A hook. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. All right, genius. What a great tragedy this is going to be. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just oh pull God. that lever. Come on. Okay, grab lever. Here we go. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. This is gonna be loud. Shit! That's loud. Time to go. Let's get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't no Driscoll. Four. What? Shit. Who are they? They're shooting at us. Is he really worth all this? Trust you. You have finally lost your damn mind. Oh, he's lost his fucking mind, all right. These are all law enforcement. This is going to bring a lot of shit on the gang. The fuck? Who? Who's shooting it? Oh. Keep shooting! Don't give up on me now! Micah, we should be gone. What the hell are we hanging around for? Who else wants to step up? Come on! Let's go! Where are we going? We're making a house call! Woman, like I said, I need to see some. Who the fuck are you going to see? Get out here. Skinny. Any minute, laws more are gonna come in. I just know it. It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh, you what? always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh my god. Might as well loot this guy while I'm waiting. Did he just murder a woman? They had something of mine. My guns. Your fucking guns. Him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Why is he here now a gang? He's fucking crazy. It's a good fighter, though. Fuck. Shit. Come on, why are we still here? We're we moving. We're we getting out of here, or what? Where's our horse? What the? Horses. God, we've just gone round this whole block and killed everybody because of this dude. It's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? I got a bounty now. I got a bounty in Strawberry because of this tool. Oh, 
Oh my god. This guy is crazy. Why is he in our gang? I thought... I thought Dutch took in good guys. This is a crazy son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You got some explaining to do, boy. Before we get any more on our tail. Yeah. There was some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I got to hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got to be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Wow. No the weather. Reason. The weather effects in this game are amazing. <sighs> Micah, Micah, what are we gonna do with you? We finally lost. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you, and me. <laughs> it's no family of mine. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Yeah, fuck off, Micah. Whoa. Shit. Whoa. The weather in this game. Right, okay. Yabia. Yeah, Yabia. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're right near. Yabia. Yeah, okay, let's get over there. This might be Sean McGuire. Because I know he's over near Blackwater. Right, here we go. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. Just... Hey. Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water, see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. We don't want to trial him publicly. Uh, gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. 
Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go sing. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. Dutch? I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money, yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Dutch and Hosea say they do, but it's trapped in the town. <laughs> oh, it must be wonderful to have such trust in one's parents. Mine would have sold me for a hog's head of ale. In fact, I think they tried. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. <laughs> Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. <laughs> Let's go! Stay with them! You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. What is the boat? Oh, it's there. Push up, come on! <clears throat> Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> that. So who are these bounty hunters? Might be Sean. I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew. And wild. Built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. That's Sean. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Dear, follow me.
Okay, now's our chance to do it. We're going to spring Sean. Sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Oh, not dynamite. Uh, there we go. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Just. Oh, that's trail armor. God, I took the one on the left. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Okay, let's get after him. Come oh, on. Okay. That was a miss. I see him. I see Charles up there. Quick. Come on, let's get up there. Come on, Charles. I'm going the middle. Let's take these Igwe putas. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bound? Maybe we should turn them in ourselves. Yeah. Still time. <laughs> Funny these guys. <laughs> but they're loyal. Maguire. Ah, look at his uh, 
<laughs> Let's have a look at you. Hey, Sean. Oh my god. Quick, Arthur, before any more show up. Cook yeah, yeah, you've got a point. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Come on, I'll do it. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. <laughs> You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Oh my god, Sean McGuire. He talks a lot. Might have been a mistake rescuing him. <laughs> He's funny as hell though. I'm not gonna lose. Oh, look at my horse. Genevieve, hello. Let's pat. Let me pat ya. Gee. There you go. It's okay, girl. You need a brush? Food? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Right. Uh, da -da. You asked for this! Who's the f I'ma hang your salad, you s What the hell? Witness. I made it. I made it back to camp. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Mr. Mr. Grimshaw, you old crone. So come I'll on. keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. If you get a bump on the head, And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> Deadeye Maguire? And don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. Oh, God. I love you, bastards. <laughs> we should have left him. Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Welcome. Welcome back, Sean. Uh -oh, I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They Why always are when folks? you ain't buying. Oh, oh God, look at Uncle. You didn't need much excuse. Always oh, got a bottle in his hand. And I'm sure you will. Karen, have you... So, what now? Um, Lenny. The so you got your buddy back? Among Wasn't they the same without him. Nope. In our time, Hosea. Uh, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town. Right. I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. We did a lot in this episode. Everything that I wanted to do, really. I wanted to get the gang out of jail. That was Micah and Sean. Felt like it was. 
I don't know. My duty as Arthur Morgan to get them out first before we start any any story missions. So now that that's done, we can basically <coughs> start doing what's next on the list, which will be Reverend Swanson and bounty hunting. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go bounty hunting in Valentine in the next upcoming episodes. Right. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. So thanks for watching and. Have a nice day.